So good news for, more good news I should say for Bernie Sanders and the movement that he represents and this is on the eve of the New Hampshire primaries tomorrow on Tuesday, February 12th. This is from Common Dreams. Bernie Sanders takes lead nationally as Biden nosedives post-Iowa Quin Quinnipiac poll. Quinnipiac, say that five times fast. Senator Bernie Sanders took first place among 2020 Democratic presidential candidates, according to a new Quinnipiac University poll, the first time the Vermont senator has topped the survey. Quote, this poll reflects a fundamentally different race than pre-Iowa, one in which Bernie Sanders is the career front runner, front runner tweeted journalist Crystal Ball. She's also co-host of The Rising, a uh, political um, show on YouTube. Check it out. It's pretty good. <clears throat> So look at this. Sanders plus four. This changed from January 7th, so was it basically two weeks ago? Biden mi minus nine in two weeks. Whew. And again, <clears throat> Bloomberg's, he's able, he's been able to buy himself 15% by spending, now it's like $350 million on television ads. Um, the oligarchs, trying to buy the election, which is funny because, you know, Stayer Stars has spent um, a great deal too, but he hasn't had the same, gotten the same traction that Bloomberg has. Look, Bloomberg nationally is ahead of Elizabeth Warren. Judge has never really been doing that well nationally, I don't think. Klobuchar at four, Yang at two. <clears throat> but, so at 300 Fifty plus million dollars of ad buys can do if you're um, part of the all billionaire oligarch owner class. It can get you fifteen percent in the national polls. And but look at Bernie, by the people for the people, not me us. All individual small dollar donations twenty five percent leading nationally plus four since the last poll. Biden, like they said, nose dive post-Iowa, where he got fourth, and he's going to get, um, let's see, probably, yeah, fourth or fifth in New Hampshire. New Hampshire, it looks like it's going to break down as Bernie, Booty Judge, possibly Klobuchar in third, Biden, Warren, somewhere, they're either Biden will be fourth or Warren will be fourth, and the other will be in that other, other spot. Um, let's see, yeah, in the last two weeks, the nosedive, um, let's see, and this, so this is Biden's support since April, it would have been April of 2019, 38% looks like was the high, now in, and in November, or now I should say, February of 2020, it's at 17, so, <laughs> He's lost more than 50% of his support in less than a year. I mean, it just, again, it's because the more Joe Biden opens his mouth, the more ridiculous that he appears and the, just the nonsense that he spits. And I'm not trying to, you know, make fun of somebody losing their you know, mental faculties, but it's, it's clear that Joe Biden has definitely, you know, lost a step and he would get destroyed on a debate stage by, by Donald Trump <clears throat> and Trump and Trump is obviously no, you know, intellectual Titan by any stretch, but he does know how to attack people and just hammer away at a message. And with Biden, he would really go after him after the corruption message, as well as being in support of the Iraq war. I think he would also highlight Biden on tape multiple times as a senator advocating for uh, cuts to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, Veterans Benefits, all these other um, programs. So more good news for Bernie Sanders, but again, we need to act as if we are 10 points down because we saw what the Democratic establishment is willing to do to cheat Bernie Sanders out of the nomination with all that shady, corrupt stuff that was going on um, during and after and still at the Iowa caucuses. So Bernie 2020, not me, us, 
um, knock on doors if you can, text, call people, donate, talk to friends and family members, post on social media, whatever you can do. We need to do Bernie's, honestly, a once-in-a-lifetime candidate, and it's so important that he gets elected because, I mean, we really need things like Medicare for All, so thirty to 45,000 people in the U.S. aren't dying each year because they don't have health care. <clears throat> we need a Green New Deal so we have a planet to live on, etc., etc. Those are my thoughts. Leave yours in the comment sections down below. Peace. Much love.